Hi, my name is Tim Pilcher. I'm an application engineer for Schweitzer Engineering Labs. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the station settings in the 2411P to set up a triplex lift station with an analog level transducer with two backup floats. So for this application, let's set up the pump controller as a triplex lift station with an analog level transducer with two backup floats. All right, let's get started. So the first thing you'll do is you'll hit the escape button and then it'll bring you to the main menu. We're going to go down to the set show menu and highlight the set show menu and hit enter to enter that menu. From here we'll go down one spot to station settings and hit enter. It'll start off, it'll say advanced enable is equal to no and that's where you want to be because we want to leverage the station settings for this application to load in those pre-configured settings. So next we're going to go down to the station type. So I'm going to hit enter here because I need to change it from a duplex to a triplex. So I hit enter and you'll notice that I have to enter a password here. So we're going to enter in the default password of tail, but it should be noted that all default passwords should be changed once the customer takes ownership of the device. So to enter in this password, we're going to use this down arrow uh, or the arrows to go down and highlight this, the specific letters. So we'll move the cursor over to T and hit enter and you'll notice it shows up as an asterisk on the screen. Now we're going to go up and find the A, highlight that and hit enter, then the I and then the L. Once you've got your password enter, you'll want to go up and hit the accept button to uh, accept that password. Now we can make changes to the station type and all the other settings. So we're going to select that this is a triplex station. Okay, hit enter. Next, it's going to take you to the triplex alternating type. So not only do we support the normal alternation for a triplex, but we also support more advanced station configurations like high service pump as well as jockey station. We're setting this one up as a normal alt normally alternating triplex station. Next we're going to go down and change what our level input looks like. Right now it's selected to just look at float switches. We want to select an analog transducer with two floats for backup. So I'm going to hit the arrow down and what you'll see is it says ANA for analog with a float, so with all floats. So we only have two floats, so we'll select the with two floats selection and hit enter. Next we go down and we tell it whether or not our float switch is a low float or a stop float. So if it's a low float, you set this to yes, and that's what we're going to leave it as yes in this situation. If your low float is actually your stop float, you'll set this to no. Next we'll check the high float out. We're going to enable this um, so because the high float is a high float, but if you don't have a high float and it's called something else like a lead float, then you could set this to no. Our phase monitor source is external. If you don't have a phase monitor, you can hit enter and you can select none and then that way it'll bypass the phase monitor. For our application, we have a, a f external phase mo monitor that provides a digital input status of whether or not the voltage is good at that station. The phase monitor input could be normally open or normally closed. So in this application, we're using the normally open um, input, but you can also change this to normally closed if that's what your phase monitor uh, provides. And then we're done. We're going to hit the escape button and we're going to save settings by highlighting yes and hit enter and you'll notice that the enable light goes out and then the product will power cycle and load in the appropriate software for this specific application that you've selected. And now it's come up, we have, a, we have all three pumps enabled and now it's going to run as a triplex station with a level transducer um, analog and two backup floats. For additional information about the 2411P, please go to our website at selinc.com or contact SEL directly and we'll connect you with your local application engineer or your sales rep to learn more about the features of the 2411P. Thanks for watching.